Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Gigabit. I am Penge and welcome to 911 Operator, a game which is going to put me, and only me it seems, I'm not entirely sure why, in charge of the emergency services control room of a town, which is probably a really terrible idea, but uh, yes, it means I'm going to have to manage the police service, the fire service, and the medical services as they rush around and deal with incidents, plus I'm going to be answering the phone and talking to people and trying to help people out, and some of them are going to be real emergencies, and some of them are going to be fake. And uh, yes, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure it's all going to go fine and nothing will go horribly wrong. So this is using three of the DLCs. So uh, one of them is to do with the free play mode, which is just here. So we won't be doing that now. What we're going to do is do the career mode, which uses two of the DLCs, special resources and first response, which just add a few more vehicle types and a few more different incidents that we have to deal with. The free game which I think we're going to look at in another video. I think we might have another video of this because I've only played the tutorial and it was quite a lot of fun. So I think the free game will be good. Um, that adds uh, extra bits and bobs. It adds like National Guard and sort of stuff and you have to do with riots and that kind of stuff. So uh, we'll look at that next time. But I think for now, let's just do a career mode, which I think will pick up where we left off on the tutorial. Yeah, so here we go. So Unique Stories, recommended for the first playthrough. The unique Stories mode is designed for players who want to experience the highest number of diverse situations in the shortest time possible. Oh, good. There we go. Yes, let's make ourselves very busy. And this is where we are. So we're in Capole, I assume you pronounce that, uh, an Hawaiian city situated on the island of Ohau. Ohau? I don't know quite how you pronounce these things. Very close to Pearl City, all of which I've never heard of, but good. I know where Hawaii is. Uh, so there we go. So we're going to go to Hawaii. Now, you can load other cities. You can put other cities in. It downloads maps, which is very, very cool. I quite like that. So we shall probably do that for the uh, free play mode. Might go somewhere a little bit more local. But for now, this place will do. So let us begin. And here is our sort of deployment screen, if you like. So this is our home screen where we get to pick things. So these are the resources that we have available. These are the squads that we currently have sort of set up. And this is where we can go to the shop. Now, unfortunately, we can't afford anything. The only thing, <laughs> the only thing we can afford is the police vehicle, which is this bicycle, <laughs> which is fine. I mean, it's good, but the speed isn't very good. The speed, I don't quite know what that's measured in, but is 42. Tandem by, oh, bicycles. Oh, okay, right. So you buy a pair of bicycles for $5,000. Okie doke. Uh, but yeah, the police car speed is 150, so that's 40. So I don't really think they're worth going for right now, to be perfectly honest. And uh, yeah, equipment, we can buy all these things, but it's fine. They've kind of got their stuff. We've got 31 grand. I think we might buy ourselves some uh, some exciting goodies next time out, once we've had another shift. So uh, this picks up from the tutorial mode, which I did. So I just did a quick run through just to pick out what happens and how it all works. And unfortunately, this guy got injured. So where uh, Jeremiah Taylor, the firefighter got injured, which means that unit number seven, which is a fire unit, as you can probably tell here, has only got one person in, which is probably not very good. Now, the white units here, ambulances, are so medical units, and the blue ones are police response kind of units, which is fine. And then they're all crewed. These are double crewed. That must be a van. Yes, that's a police van because it's a bit bigger. So we want to make sure that if we have large groups of criminals, we send the police van, whereas these are like normal police cars that, you know, you can put some people in that can hold more people. I think all our ambulances are just generic ambulances. Yes. And these two things are the same. They are both fire trucks, which is fine. Now, we do have another vehicle here. Now, can I drag that into the thing? Uh, no, I can't seem to drag it in. I'd like to drag that in, please. Or can I only have... Ah, new team. Ah, maybe I make unit number nine. Okay, right. Well, if we put unit number nine in, that's not going to have any staff. So can we now go to staff? get ourselves some firefighters because they're only two thousand dollars so we might as well get ourselves another firefighter let's get alexa evans let's recruit you alexa evans to fill that gap and then can we just employ these driving 96 yeah can we have you and you because the fire guys seem to be sort of woefully underrepresented the police have got three the medical folk have got three uh, and the fire guys had two so now they've got three so this is a technical truck as opposed to a fire truck so, equipped with professional firefighting equipment that can be useful in a fireman's job. Okay, maybe that doesn't need... Maybe, where? which one are you driving? Let's take you out. Let's put you in there. Put you in the front seat. So, when we send one of these, unit number nine can then go to support these if it's like a massive fire or something like that. 
So, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think we want to leave these guys here. Now, you can <laughs> obviously, it's called 911 operator, so you can tell. You can tell that it's in America. I like the fact that the, uh, the medics have first aid. The firefighters, tech skill. The police officers, how well you can shoot people. Marksmanship. <laughs> okay, there we go. So all the police guys have got guns. I don't think anybody else has any equipment specifically, which I don't think is entirely advisable. But um, yeah, okay, there you go. Yeah, like a fire suit. You thought there might be a fire suit available or some pepper spray or a police dog. I think that's in the DLCs. So without any further ado, let's start a new shift. So let's start our deployment. So here we go. This is the city. So this is the city that we are in right now. And you can see all our units. So the fire guys are based over here at the fire station. There is only one of those. However, the other places have got various bits. So there's a couple of hospitals here and there are a couple of police stations here. So they will start off at these. Now I can move these round. So you're kind of that. So this is just before we start duty. You're there. We'll send you off sort of over that way. One of you guys can go up there. One of you guys can kind of go over here. One of you guys can go up here. And then fire. So what are you? Are you the truck? You're a fire truck. So you can come down here. You're the support truck. Okay, yeah. So you can sort of stay in the middle. You can stay in the middle. We'll send a fire thing over here. Support truck stay in the middle. And then the other fire thing stay up there. So we've kind of got a reasonable... Spring. Maybe we need to move that, that police thing over that way. So we've got one down here, one up there, one up there. So we kind of position our units, if you like, at the start, and then we start our duty. And I'm sure this will go absolutely fine. So start duty. Time ticks over. At the minute, nothing's happening. Right, but a thing has happened. There is an incident just here. So let's have a look. Shoplifting. A shoplifter was caught, uh, apprehended in a supermarket. Naughty shoplifter. Right, you. So we click it. We right click. We send the police over. And when they arrive on site, if they get there in time, which they should do, uh, we will then be able to see there will be on site and there will be a little thing which pops up which shows us what they're doing. So now they've clicked onto that. So now we can see that these two are dealing with the shoplifter just here. So Gavin Sanders, suspect, he's fighting. Okay, they're requesting support. Okay, come down here. Under fire, need backup. Go, 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 go. All units, all units converge. All units converge on the person that's under fire. Yep, so we're shooting at our police officers. Go, go, go. Oh no, there's another police incident. A pickpocket. Okay, so this is kind of what this game is all about. These police officers are being shot at. Do we send one of our other cars to deal with this, to deal with this uh, this pickpocket, or do we leave that pickpocket? Do you know what? I think we send you there. I think once we've got four police officers on site, I think we should be okay. So now they are supporting. So these guys are here. They are helping out. That's good. Oh, right, we've got a new call coming in. what's your emergency? Hello? I hear a lot of noise coming from the apartment next door. It's keeping my kids up. They can't get to sleep. Can you do something about it? Okay, so we get these little things. So I have to hurry up with these, but this address thing is scanning the address. Uh, okay, what address, madam? What's the address you're calling from? Okay, yes, yeah, so the address things are always a bit weird. They were sort of muffled. Okay, what's going on? Do you know what's happening at your neighbor's place? Some kind of a party, I guess. I hear a lot of voices and loud music. Okay, so we have to determine whether that's... Are you in danger? Are you in any kind of danger? Do you feel threatened in any way? No, but my kids can't sleep because of the loud music. I can clearly hear every single word of the songs they're playing. So now we have to decide, do we send the police there or not? I don't think it's an emergency, but it probably could do with being looked at, I think. Right, that's been resolved. That do you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll send, send the police. I'll a couple of officers over to calm your neighbors down. Thank you. I'll be waiting at my place. Bye. Bye. Right, so now the guys over there are now done, so they can go that way. So those guys that dealt with the uh, peop the guy shooting at them are now finished. And now they can head over here to the call. So yeah, those calls, that thing does tick up. So if it's a, a dead call, if there's no one talking or something, or if someone's in trouble, it just goes, ah, my legs or whatever. The little address thing does tick up at the bottom. And then when it fills up, you can then find where it is on the map. But obviously that might, that might be too late. It might take too long if they've been squished or something or they're in you know, medical peril. Uh, and yeah, there's different options. There's different options here that you can choose to do different things. But I think it's always important to get the address first just in case something happens. Right, a new incident. Trash on fire and neighbourhood dumpster fire. Okay, you guys, get there and go with him. Because they're the support thing. They might help. 
Okay, so the uh, fire engines are a little bit slower than the police cars, obviously, because they're a little bit bigger. I imagine they're somewhat more cumbersome to drive. The police guys kind of just pootle about. The police guys just sort of roam around doing stuff, whereas the other guys generally stay still. But okay, this is all right. It's a, it's a quiet day. It's a quiet day so far. Right, what's going on over here? So, uh, yeah, we're talking to... Oh, there's lots and lots of people over there. There are lots of people over there. Oh, Okay, case resolved. Right, a medical emergency over here. Need for medical assistance. The person is feeling ill. Symptoms indicate flu disease. Oh dear, not flu disease. Right, send an ambulance for someone with flu. Mm, okay, I probably wouldn't myself. Right, these guys are going to be held up over here for absolutely ages. So you're resolving issues. Oh my goodness, yeah, there's an awful lot of people over there. So can we send the, the big truck over to help out? Just to see if that helps. Because then that might get them out of there a little bit quicker. Because then they can have some help taking these statements. Okay, that's fine. It's all looking good. The ambulance is taking a long time to get over here. Can you put your foot down, ambulance? Because look, you're taking an awfully long time. Bill given a thousand dollars. Wow, yes, <laughs> jolly good. Um, a new incident has come in. An electrical hazard. Broken electrical lines reported might be a danger for people need for firefighter intervention. Technical job. Right, well, let's send that. And where's the other thing as well? Units. Let's send the uh, that thing as well. Let's send... Is that that one? Yeah, that one. So the special truck. That can go there as well, I think. Is that the special truck that I just sent? Possibly. Yeah, oh, it's gone all the way back up there, is it? The special truck kind of went home. Okay, that's fine. Right, drop that back down. Uh, no, that's reinforcements. There we go. Back we go. A new call. Right, what's going on? 911, what's your emergency? Hello? My stomach hurts really bad. Okay, what's your address? What's your address, sir? Okay, always get the address first. Right, okay, does anything else hurt? Alright, does anything else hurt? I vomited half an hour ago. Did you drink alcohol? Uh, sir, have you drank alcohol lately? No, it's, it's not a hangover. Have you eaten anything unusual lately, sir? Well, maybe it's because of those mushrooms. <laughs> okay, so do we tell him to go to a doctor or do we send an ambulance? If he's had mushrooms, it might be prudent oh, sir, to send a possibility an ambulance because they could be poisonous. I'm yes, I agree. The immediately. Oh, God. What have I done? Please, get the ambulance here fast. Okay, so are you all the way down there? Is that you? Is that Mushroom Man? Yeah, okay, so that's Mushroom Guy. So let's send Mushroom Guy down there. The fire thing there, still not there yet. Crikey, okay, yeah, time to slow down when you're on those calls. Okay, so those two are now helping. Right, we've finally got someone at that thing, so they can help the ill person. A new incident. Right, okay, what's going on now? What incident is this? A heart attack. Oh, dearie me. Uh, okay, we might want to send you to the heart attack and you to that thing there. Because you finish dealing with this person over here. A heart attack is probably a little bit more important than Mr. Mushrooms. So, uh, yeah, you, you're heavily injured. But you do at least have some people in that are now helping you. Oh, dearie me. You're going to be resolved in some seconds. Okay, now they're off to hospital, which is fine. Right, police, you guys kind of go up there. And let's bring you guys down this way. Because there's nothing really going on up there. So that's fine. That dumpster fire thing is out. So the only thing we've got at the minute is Mr. Mushrooms. That's the only thing that's happening. Under fire, need backup. Oh, yeah, we don't need that again. Okay, so let's hurry that on. Oh, right, okay. A new incident. It's a mixture. Home invasion. Suspects have entered a house probably with hostile intentions. Okay. Uh, you? Oh, no. Right, you guys. Get to there. Cops, get to here. And I think we might need two cops for that. I think we might need two lots of cops. If people have entered a house probably with hostile intentions, I rather suspect we might need more than just two cops. So here we go. Let's see. We're dealing with this. Yep, you're under fire. You're under fire. We're on it. We've got two lots of cops going. We've got two lots of cops going. Oh my goodness, there's a new call coming in. Right, hello. One, what's your emergency? Good evening. I have a problem with my daughter. She's screaming, breaking things, completely out of control. That is not my problem. Is your daughter hurt? Okay, I don't think I'm going to send the police. What happened? All right, ma'am, what's happening? I just can't calm her down. She's pulling my hair. She's almost my height. It is not a 911 situation, madam. Ma'am, it doesn't sound like a 911 situation. Please deal with your daughter yourself or call the education support. But how? She breaks everything in her room. Send someone in. I need help. No, that is not an emergency. As I said, ma'am, this isn't a 911 situation. Goodbye. 
Good. Right. Okay. An incident has come in. Illegal parking. Okay. So firefighter, uh, just there, and police, just there. Okay. So that's that going on. They're dealing with Mr. Mushrooms. You're going to that. Right. Bring you back into the middle, fire service person. Uh, what's going on here? Are they still under fire. Robert Diaz is injured. So are they tending to him? What's going on then? So uh, ah, we're resolving that suspect. They do have a weapon of some sort. Is that like a, a baseball bat or something? Okay, so yeah, they did go armed. And now these people are all injured. I think there's still a gunfight going on. I still think they're being shot at. Okay, well, you've got all the cops you need, I would hope. So let's just speed time on. Right, that ambulance is done. So I don't think they're going to hospital, are they? Right, they're going to hospital. That's fine. So he's taking those to hospital and... Uh, yeah, can you turn up at this? Because I think that you might, there might still be some injured people. I think this guy needs medical support. Robert Diaz needs medical support very, very soon. Oh, goodness me. Right, a new incident has come up. Okay, biting. A dog has bitten a person. Uh, okay, all our units are kind of tied up at the moment. They're all doing stuff. You can go to just there, but there'll be no one to actually help with the dog. We need to sort this out, really. Uh, in three seconds, he'll be sorted out, which might mean he's dead. Okay, did he just die? I hope he's not dead. Right, you guys run over there. Go over to this thing. Yep, okay, right, good. That's there. I think everything is looking kind of okay. We've got this to deal with. Everyone else has been to the hospitals. This is good. Right, they can sort that out. So there's a person here. Oh, oh, goodness me. Right, okay, uh, uh, new incident. Requesting support. Oh, they're under fire. They need backup. They need backup. They need backup. That's a medical thing. Right, you do the medical thing. Take the call. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, there is a strange car parked here. Could you check it? Okay, where? Where's the car parked? It's a restricted area. Yes, but what's the address, man? Can you give me the address of where this car is parked, sir? Okay, what's concerning about it? So what is it about this parked car that has you concerned? not allowed to park here. Why is that, sir? It's for safety reasons. Maybe I'm overreacting, but could you send the police to check it? Uh, yeah, okay. Yes, of course. I'll send the police to check the car. Thank you. Bye. It could be something dodgy, couldn't it? It could be something very suspicious. Right, yep, yeah, you're going over that way. Uh, can you hurry up? These ambulances seem very slow. Can we stick bigger engines in the ambulances? <laughs> that might be quite a good idea. Okay, yes, this person's had a heart attack. They possibly need to hurry up. Can we... Oh, we can, I bet we can't move you guys, can we? I bet we cannot move you guys. It'd be good if we could shift you guys there and you guys to there. Can we do that? Is that a thing we can do? Uh, yeah, you guys to there. Because that makes things a bit easier. There we go. So now the police can come here. You can go there. You can then deal with that. Okay, they're done here. Okay, oh, that's good. It was sorted. Fine. Hooray. Everything is Everything is all good. Right, you need to hurry up and get to the the, the person there because they've had a heart attack. Uh, okay, right, and this is the this is the timer, so this ticks down to the end of my shift. So I've got one hour thirty two minutes left, so one and a half hours left on a fairly quiet shift. Oh, what's that? Oh, that was that stupid. Yeah, well, ignore that. I'm not. I don't need that on my map anymore. Right, a fire incident. Fire. Fallen tree is blocking car traffic. Well, my goodness, sound the alarm. Right, you, get over there, and you as well. So let's get you moving. You've arrived at there, so you can do some medical stuff. Uh, Aubrey Ward is heavily injured, but it's going to be resolved in no seconds. So they're going back to the hospital. That's fine. Hopefully it's not going to block the traffic. Right, you guys over here, what did you find? You're just asking a few people. That's the caller, and that's the suspicious car. So that's the caller. So I've talked to them and got some information, and now I'm going to deal with the suspicious car. Okay, so in two, one, and nothing. And it was nothing in the end. But yeah, one of those times I'm going to go, I'm not going to check your silly suspicious car, and it's going to be full of explosives or something, isn't it? Right, a new call, here we go. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, yeah, hello. Um, there is a fight out in the street. Can you please send the police quickly? Yes, uh, where? Oh, how many are involved? How many of them are there? Address. Can you give me a precise address of the incident? Yes, of course. It's at... Okay, do they have any weapon? No, is anyone injured? Is anybody injured? I don't think so. They've just started and they're mostly shouting and pushing each other. Uh, okay, right. Uh, do they have weapons? Did you see if they had any weapons? No, I didn't see any. Uh, okay, I'm sending help. I'm sending emergency services right now. Thank you. 
Okay, right, Bye. let's get you over to there, because that looks like a stolen car or something. In fact, no, you to that, because you're that way. You can go up there to that incident. You can come back into the middle. You're going to the hospital, because you've got a patient. You're at the hospital. If you've had a fairly quiet time, so that's fine. Uh, okay, yeah, so you've caught this. What's this? What was this? A speeding car. Speeding car. Yes, naughty speeding car. They've cleared the road. Good job. I think it's near the end of the shift. I think. I don't know if we have to deal with this to get to the end of the shift or if we just then, that's it, it ends and we don't deal with it. Case resolved. Uh, I think that's it, is it? Have we finished? Do we just deal with this now and that's it? Because all the stuff on the right vanished. Okay, there we go. So we deal with this, do we? And then we, then we clock off. So we won't get any more stuff to deal with, I don't imagine. Uh, so these are people in the street, fighting man, fighting man, and caller. It might be advisable to send the other cops up, just in case. Just in case the fighty men keep getting a bit fighty. Right, he is injured. His health is 85%. So that's probably not the best, but never mind. Uh, okay, you can go back to your base. Right. Oh, under fire, need back up. Under fire, fighting man is fighting. Okay, right. These guys are taking a bit of a kick in. The police are on their way, police. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Drive quicker, drive quicker, drive quicker, drive quicker. Get there, get there, get there. Oh, they need medical. They need medical. Right, send send a thing. Send a medical thing because we've got injured people. Right, we've got lots of police. Four police. That should be okay. I really hope that's okay. Okay, and they get there and they can sort out the injured man. And there we go. Right, so he's being sorted. He's heavily injured. Uh, and he's going back to hospital and those guys have done their thing. So there we go, right? And that is it. That is the end of the day. Oh my goodness. And what a shift it was. So we dealt with all those things, and we dealt with them okay. So we ignored door trap control, which gave us plus one uh, kind of reputation, I think it is. Uh, but everything else, we, we dealt with. We resolved everything. Go us. Yay, okay, right, that's good. And because we're in career mode, I have been promoted to the next city. Okay, what's the next city? It's Miami. Oh my goodness me. The biggest city in Florida, apparently, which is annoying because it's split over two bits. There's loads of stuff here and there's a thing here. So if all my units are here, they're going to need to go for this. It's quite a long way away. 453,579 people. A bit of a step up from the 16,000 that I just had. Okay, fine. Let's give this a go then. I hope we've got more people. Right, okay, I can't help but notice unit number one. Unit number one is uh, Crockett and Tubbs because we're in Miami and it actually is them. And they have a sport patrol car. Of course they do. Well, of course they do. So we've got five police units, one of which is a helicopter. Yes, we've got a jelly flopter. Uh, okay, yeah, there's four, there's three ambulances. And what's that? A medical transport used to transport a few people to the hospital. Oh, no. And three fire things. So three fire things. That's good. 20 grand. Is that all we've got? Is that all we've got for Miami? The city of Miami can only afford £20,000 for the protection, uh, dollars even, for the protection of its citizens. Well, that is very, very poor. That is disappointing. I wanted to buy a police bike. I want to buy a police bike and let them zoom about on that. Uh, okay, do we need any equipment possibly? The police are all the police are all armed. Is there anything else we could do that's useful? First aid kit accelerates the process of healing. Can be used by every type of personnel. They're three thousand each. Good grief! Or shotgun defibrillator. Yeah, near fatal injuries. Universal equipment. Uh, or a police. I'm so tempted to buy a police dog. So tempted. Man's best friend is also a great help for police forces. A police dog can be used for during the search and arrest of criminals or searching for missing persons. Police only. Should we buy a police dog? Yay, we bought Wuffles McBark. There we go. Oh, we've got a load of equipment. We've got an absolute load of equipment just lying around just here. And three vehicles and a load of staff. How curious. What are these staff doing then? I assume if we call them in, that's paying them overtime, is it, or something? Well, we might as well assign the equipment. So let's put the police dog in with let's put the police dog in with crockett and tubs there we go so crockett uh, can can have the police dog uh unit two you can have the bulletproof vests i mean i'll forget all this obviously uh pistols and stuff what does that do it provides easy access to the 911 database which reduces the time involved in resolving cases okay well let's give one to you and one to you guys and the guys in the big van just have to just put it with not ever really having anything uh and shotguns do we really want 
shotguns. How about the guys in unit? That's slower though, isn't it? You'd want them to be quicker. How about you guys have that tablet thing? Take your pistols away and let's give you police rifles. Although I'm not entirely sure why you need a rifle, but there you go. Damage 20, fire speed 2 per second. So yes, unit number 3 are our sort of uh, our proper firearms response team, which is jolly exciting. <laughs> okay, I don't think we want to put these... There's a fire truck. There's a fire truck. How much are the staff around here? How much is it to employ another fire vehicle? Though we do have... We've only, actually, we've only got two, because this is the fire support truck. Could I put the new fire vehicle in and employ these two people? Employ Jan, Vasek, and Sophia Anderson, who are not very good at driving, but they're very technical. Oh, I know you're better at driving. Camila Murphy. Camilla? Camila? Uh, yeah, I think we do that. Let's create a new team. New team. Drag the fire vehicle in and employ you. And uh, you've got very high tech skill, so we'll have you. Let's drop you two in, like so. And then we've only got 13 grand left. So do the fire people need any kit? Like a fire suit? Now, I, I kind of strikes me as a bit weird. They don't go in with any equipment, but I guess it's all on the trucks, is it? Okay, fine. So there's another firefighter there. Do we want to load up one of these with another police officer? Possibly we might. What about Riley Hughes? Could go into there, maybe. That's a good idea. What's your driving? 80, whereas yours is 89. Yeah, let's swap you around like that, then. Oh. Oh, okay. Can we move you just there? Okay, yeah, there we go. Right, Riley Hughes go in. Riley Hughes does not have any kit. So let's put you with a shooty gun. And then extra staff. We've got one medic and two police. I think that's fine. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> this, I sense this is going to be quite difficult. Right, okay, start deployment. Today, going to be a mass event, music festival. You need teams of three police officers, two medics, one firefighter to ensure the safety. Are you sure you are ready to start duty? Well, I've got five police officers, lots of medics, and I've even bought in an extra firefighting squad. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll be fine. Okay, right, already it started then. That's where the music festival is. So... Put at least three police, two medic, and one firefighter teams in order to prevent new accidents. Uh, okay, that this could be tricky. They can. <laughs> oh my goodness me! So two medics. Where? Hang on. Where are the other medics? Oh, they all at that one hospital. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, well, where's where's Crockett and Tubbs? Where are Crockett and Tubbs? Where are they? Crockett and Tubbs are up here, being awesome. Oh, look at it. The the whole the map is massive. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, dearie me. This is going to go horribly wrong. Okay. Uh, the police helicopter can go over here somewhere, I think. Oh, beautiful. It just goes in a nice line. You guys can go there. So you've got at least that there. You guys can go there. So that's good. So we've got ourselves three police, two medic, and one firefighter. We've got two police, two medic, and no firefighters. So now I think we need to put you... There, you, oh, there, this is terrible. <laughs> the music festival's taking up all my resources. Okay, there we go. I didn't know how they had to be permanently on site. I thought this had to be sort of around and about. Okay, fine. And uh, you're a medical thing. You can go up here because there appears to be no sort of medical facilities up there. So that'll do. Go across the bridge. And in you go. So we've got four police, two firefighters and two medics at that site. Which is a bit of a waste, but okay. Right, start duty. Here we go then. So, a Miami dawn. Oh, no, it's not Miami dawn. What time is it? A Miami night time? Okay, right. But let's slow it down a little bit. I can hear the music festival. Right, sharp tool injury. Uh-oh. Right, yeah. You get to just there. You get to just there. Sharp tool injury. Massive blood loss. Okay, yes. Possibly you need to get there really soon. Okay. So they can poodle down to that. Splendiferous. That, they're keeping the peace there. But these guys have got their stab vests on, so that's quite helpful. A couple of medics there. Right, a new call. 911, what's your emergency? Hello. I would like to lodge a complaint. It's unbearably loud here in my apartment. The windows are literally shaking because of the noise. Please, do something about it. Uh, okay, where are you? Where are you calling from? From my home. I'm at... And I can hear it here. Okay, what noise? What's the source of the noise? You must be joking. It's not hard to tell what's going on. It's that so-called music festival. 
They sound like they have no idea what real music is over there. You sound like a grumpy person. It's not an emergency. Please get off the line. I understand that the music is kind of loud and it might be somewhat disruptive, but this isn't an emergency. They have all the required permits from the city. If you don't like the music festival, you'll need to talk to your city councillor. Please, don't make fun of the situation. It's impossible to enjoy my house apartment with all this noise. You have to do something about it. It's your duty as a public servant. No, it is not. It is. I know my duties and that is not one of them. Sir, let me assure you I do know my duties. You don't have to remind me of them, okay? And shutting down the festival because of the noise is not one of them. Great. That's just great. And normal people are supposed to bear this noise all the time? What has to happen in order to have this madness stopped? We'd only shut down the event if there was a serious security threat, sir, so please, be patient. The festival is only once a year. It'll be over in a couple of days. Patient? Easy for you to say. Just listen to this noise. Can I hang up? There's a thing. Can I hang up? Uh, I want to check this. Uh, okay, finish conversation first. Uh, do not block the line. Yeah, do not block sir, the line. you're taking up an emergency line. I've already told you, there's nothing that can be done. What the... Right, good. Okay, there's a thing happening just here. There's a thing, and that guy was whiffling about on the phone. Right, we've got to take people away from the music thing to deal with that, because they're right down there. They're right there. Or the police helicopter. In fact, can we get the helicopter on that as well? Let's get both people, because this is, what, a speeding person? A car was reported speeding. Okay, that's good. Is that the guy whinging? Yeah, right. Ignore that. I'm not bothered about you, you silly man. Although your apartment appears to be on a bridge, which is a little bit unexpected, but okie doke. Right, the police helicopter is going very slowly. Reporting. Come on, police helicopter, hurry up. You're supposed to go really fast. I mean, yes, you were quite some way away. Okay, right, the police car is going to beat you to it, I think. I think the police car is going to get there. Yep, yeah. okay, Kylie Morgan. Yeah, never mind, you're, you're not needed now. You're not needed. Go over there. Land in the middle of the road. I don't quite know what the police helicopter does. It just hovers around at the time, does it? What does it do when I don't need it? I've no idea. Uh, okay, yep, yeah, you can come down this way, I think. That's fine, you can move that way. We've got a bit of support over there. You there, Crockett and Tubbs are just sort of chilling. They're just sort of driving around, looking cool. Right, new incident. Okay, uh, beating, a person has been beaten. Okay, uh, let's get you, and can we get Crockett and Tubbs? I mean, they are quite a long way away, but they're in a fast car. Oh, look at the speed they go at. Look at the speed. <laughs> go on, Crockett and Tubbs. Gun it. Yes. Okay, you guys need to get back to the uh, you need to get back to the party because otherwise there's going to be incidents at the party, and that's probably a bad thing. So you join the party. Right, okay. Oh, there's one just there. What are you? Wrong way driving. Oh dear. Okay, right. Jellyflopter, go and deal with it. Go and deal with that, please, because that's quite a long way from everything else. Right. These guys have spotted the beating, but they're not going to deal with it. A new incident. Uh, okay, right. A medical thing. Right there. What's that? Lying on the street. Okay, right. You guys deal with that. You guys come in to fill the gap. You guys come in to fill the gap just there. You guys come in and deal with the uh, the, the, the big, horrible-sounding rave type thing. The police helicopter is going to shine some lights on you guys. A new incident. Three incidents. What? Uh, a loud party. Uh, uh, there's a thing happening there. Right. A uh, drug dealer. Okay, right. Well, let's send the police to that. What's that? A loud party. Okay. Well, we've got another police vehicle. You guys, come down to here. Do that. Oh, there's there's an ill person. Panic attack. Uh, okay, right. You might have to go and deal with the panic attack. Oh, my goodness. A new incident. Okay, right. What's that? A medical thing. A stroke. Oh, God. Right. Okay. Which one do we take you away from? I rather think that the party doesn't matter. Get to just there. That person's having a stroke. That is really bad. That is absolutely the baddest of the bad. Get in there. A new incident. Okay, there's a another thing. What's that? Wrong way driving. Oh my goodness me. Right, you've dealt with that. You deal with the wrong way driving person. <laughs> new incident. Where? Here. Okay, you guys deal with the drugs overdose. Okay, right. Police transport needed. What? Where's the police transport vehicle? Where is the police transport vehicle? Uh, is, is that the police transport vehicle? Yes, it is. Right. Okay. A new call and a new incident. Right. The new incident is just there. Uh, okay. You're reporting. You've dealt with that. Uh, right. Uh, call. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hello. Could you do something about those idiots? You mind a bit more specific? Where are they? They are under my window. Uh, address. Could you give me a precise address of the incident? Oh yes, it's at. Okay. What are they doing? Please describe what exactly these men are doing. They're acting like animals, just smashing and breaking everything around. 
Uh, okay, yes, I think we might need that. Any injuries? Have they injured anyone? Okay, right. Uh, wait for help. Okay, ma'am, I've got the ambulance on the way. Just wait for it, okay? Okay. Thank you for your help. I mean, that's a bit of a lie. We haven't got the ambulance on the way at all. Right, uh, where is the police transport thing? Is it that? Can you hurry up and do this, please? Because the police transport is required over there. Oh, right, we're, there's another medical thing. Right, what are you doing? Are you doing anything? You're dealing with this person, but this person is going to be dealt with soon. Right, we're done here. You go to there. Right, hang on, pause, 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 pause. Can we pause? Yeah, right, you guys. Report to, what's that? What's going on? There's so many incidents. A loud party, shoplifting, a car bump. Okay, that's probably important. There might be injured people at a car bump. Uh, there's me uh, police transport required. Right, you, medical thing. Come down here and deal with that. We need police transport. Ah, is that the police transport? Is that free? Uh, are you the police transport unit? Can we can we clear that out? Where's the police transport unit? I think it's that. Police van. Right, okay, yes. So we want to send you up to there, which is... Have you done that? You go up to there, right, and hurry that along. So you go up to there. Oh, there's another thing there. Reinforcements have arrived. Ah, we've got some reinforcements. We've got some more people. Yes. Okay, right. Go and check this party thing. New incident. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> oh, Miami is stupidly busy. Did I just summon in some reinforcements? Which probably cost me a load of money. I possibly didn't mean to do that. Never mind. Right, okay. They're going that way. Oh, there's another thing happened just there. Okay, there's an incident just there. A gunshot wound. Okay, that's probably really important, isn't it? I would have thought. There's an incident there. Drugs overdose. Oh my god, I need some... Can we have some more ambulances? Are you guys nearly finished up there? Can you hurry up? Uh, injured man, dead. Resolved. <laughs> Resolved in 10 seconds. I rather suspect... Uh, oh god, right, hang on, where's the backup? Where's the, you're under fire, where? Where, 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 where are you? Right, helicopter. Uh, where, where are you under fire? Oh, the helicopter's under fire. Okay, go there. Go there. Spotted broken bone. Okay, you're going back to the hospital. The fire people have got absolutely nothing to do. We've got a thing there, that's a, where's a home invasion? That's on a bridge, nobody lives on a bridge. Right, you, police, uh, no, they're incidents. Right, you, police car, you're not doing anything. Go to just there. Where are Crockett and Tubbs? Crockett and Tubbs, come down and do some police. Go up here and do some policing, actually, Crockett and Tubbs. And you guys, go and deal with that thing on the bridge. Uh, okay, what's that? Case resolved. That's a good thing. You're probably going back to the hospital. That's a good thing. You are all dealing with what? What's the helicopter dealing with? It's dealing with an obstacle. You're dealing with an obstacle. What is this, then? You're dealing with a person. Under fire. Who's under fire? Who's under fire? Who's under fire? Right. Uh, police. Get done. Get over there. Get over there and do some stuff. Fire. There's a fire incident now. Oh, there's two fire incidents. Okay, you're a fire thing. Go to just there. Chemical hazard. Oh, my goodness me. Uh, you. Go to just there. That's probably important. We've got a new call coming in. There's millions of incidents. Ah! 911. What's your emergency? Hello. Listen carefully. I found a bomb at the festival. Okay, right. <laughs> uh, how do you know that? Okay, did you see who left it? No, I didn't. I just found it. Uh, I want to stay anonymous. I think that's a bit suspicious. Uh, details? I don't know where, actually. The music festival? Okay, where's the bomb? Um, look for it around the stage. Okay, how does it look? Okay, what does the bomb look like? Um, it has wires and uh, a display with a timer. I don't believe him. Details? Please, give me any information that can help us find it. Is it in a car? Is it in a suitcase or, or a backpack? It's in a backpack. It's, um, red. Uh, now I'm going to send someone in because I think I have to, but I don't believe him. I don't believe him for a second. All right, sir. I'm notifying officers working at the festival, and I have fire and ambulance responding as well. Thank you. So the whole festival will be suspended? Oh, I see. Help is on the way. Okay. Emergency services are on the way. They should be there soon. You just hoax called. You're, that's a bomb threat. That's illegal, you silly man. Okay, right. You guys come down to... Uh, you're dealing with that. Right, you guys come down here. We've got a thing that we need just here. Uh, these fire guys are absolutely doing nothing. Oh, right. Okay, someone just said we're done here. Ah, there we go. Right, fire guys. You go just there. Right, you helicopter deal with that thing. Uh, we can't do that. Oh, you can't deal with speeding. Okay. 
you deal with speeding. You uh, deal with... You can't deal with that. You deal with that. Why not? What, what can't you deal with? Wrong way drink. You're in a helicopter. Just just do something about that. Okay. Uh, ambulance things. Go over here. Deal with that. You are an ambulance thing going to hospital. You're a fire thing. Let's just move you up here into the middle. Uh, okay, yeah. Someone is bleeding. So where, where are you bleeding? There's a fire thing there. Uh, right, that thing. Uh, we'll, we don't want to ignore that. Which was that one? That was the... Oh, that's the festival. New incidents times six. Oh my goodness. There's an incident miles away up there. A massive theft. Oh, goodness me. Right, where's Crockett and Tubbs? Where's the sports car? Right, they are reporting. I don't think they're doing anything. Crockett and Tubbs, get up there. In fact, Crockett and Tubbs, sort this out first. Because you're going right toward it. Okay, right. Pause, 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 pause. Oh, space doesn't pause. Oh, I don't like it. Right, you guys get to there. And you guys get to there. And you guys get to that. You're dealing with that. Uh, okay, there's a medical thing just here. Right, you guys go to there. We need more police. We need more police cars. There's not enough police around. Okay, you go back to the festival. In fact, no, you go to just there. Okay, right. Speed time on. Speed time on. I think I think we got this. We're okay with this. I think we're okay with this. Okay, so we're dealing with stuff. You spotted wrong way driving. Deal with it then. Don't you drive past it, you donut. You, you're, you are allowed to turn around. You are a police car. Go and deal with it. Okay, so we just said case resolved. Right, pause. Okay, you... You're going down there. Right, the fire thing is done. Let's get the fire thing to go just there. You're going to there. You're... Uh, I don't know where you're going. You're going somewhere. I'm sure it's really, really important where you're going. There's another thing. There's another police thing. The helicopter can't deal with anything. The helicopter's a bit... The helicopter's a bit rubbish. <laughs> just do anything. I can't... We can't deal with anything. Negative. We can't deal with anything that actually moves. Brilliant. I'm really glad we've got a helicopter that can't do anything. Uh... Hang on, what? Why can't it even take off? Why can't the helicopter take off? Can I not move the helicopter? Has the helicopter crashed or something? Why can the helicopter not do that? Uh, okay, right. I'm a bit confused. I'm a bit confused. Oh, the helicopter is... Oh, it's dealing with this person. Oh, it's dealing with an injured person. That's why. Oh, yeah. Carry on dealing with the injured person. That's absolutely fine. Do that. That's that's probably a good thing, right? That's a good thing. Right. Crockett and Tubbs. Jet up there. Oh, no. They've got away. The, the, the baddies got away. Okay, fine. Let's get there. Right, you guys get there. Accident spotted by drunk driver. You guys go up there. You guys come down here. Uh, you guys go just there. Okay. There's a police incident thing just there. Let's send that there. Oh, my goodness. Right. Okay. So, time is up. So, we're not going to get anything new, I don't think. I think we're going to have to sort out what we've got if we can. Okay. There's loads of new incidents. There's so many things. Ah. Okay. Right. That's resolved. Okay, fine. There's a man putting a needle in his arm. That's probably a bad thing. Okay, right. And get you guys up to just there. Okay. You guys aren't doing anything. Where are you going? Uh, Crockett and Tubbs, where are you going? Come over here. Deal with that thing. There's a police thing there. You guys get back to the festival. Uh, you guys get to the festival. Yep. And everyone else is sort of just converging down here, which is fine. There's a thing there. We possibly need to go and tend to that. Right. Run that in. So there we go. So we've got some more incidents left to deal with on my shift. Right, broken bone is being dealt with. They're going to hospital. That's fine. You're dealing with that. Police transport needed. Oh, where's the police transport vehicle? There. Right. Police transport. Get up there. Then that. Oh, we need a police car to go up there. Where's Crockett and Tubbs? Where are Crockett and Tubbs? Oh, they're dealing with the thing. Oh, they're stuck. Oh, no. Crockett and Tubbs are stuck. Okay, can we send you up there? Okay, that's a good plan. Get those guys up there. Okay, fine. That's good. They've gone up there. They're flying that way. They're going that way. Uh, you guys aren't doing anything. You come and deal with this thing. Right? You come back this way and deal with that. I think... I think we might be okay. I think we might be okay, possibly. What are we dealing with here? Shots fired? Where are shots fired? Where are shots fired? Where, 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 where? Where are shots fired? I can't see shots fired. They're under fire. Need backup. There... Okay, right, you guys, get there. You guys, get there. Go and support the person that's under fire. Quick, go now. Go now and support. Everybody get in there. Maybe not the fire guys. <laughs> you might not be as useful. You can just get in the way. Don't get in the way, fire guys. Okay, we need to deal with that, though. Situation report. Someone is, uh, oh, right, injured. Okay, we've done it. Yeah, we've sorted. We're sorted. Send you down to here. No, not the fire guys. Not the fire guys. <laughs> Stop it, fire people. Where's Crockett and Tubbs? 
get down here, Crockett and Tubbs. Drug usage going on. Right, injured on board. They're on board. I think, is everything else sorted? They're still dealing with that thing. They're still dealing with this. Uh, injured man dead, resolved. And there's some vandals to, oh dear. Injured in hospital. <laughs> Might be a bit late, but okay. Let's send them up to support that. And I think that was it. That, that, <laughs> that was harder than I thought it was going to be for day two on the job. Day one, here's a quaint, quiet little town in Miami. Day two, uh, in Miami, in, in Hawaii. Day two, here is one of the world's most busiest, big seaside resort area things. Crikeys. Okay, right. Police transport needed. Let's get the police transport up and sorted. Let's just hurry time on a bit and a bit quicker. The police transport is not very quick, is it? And it's done. Okay, I don't imagine that was my finest day. Oh, Crockett and Tubbs got injured. <laughs> Oh no, I've let Crockett and Tubbs get injured. So did I lose anything? So, ah, so a drugs overdose. I just didn't tend to a drugs overdose and they died. Minus six reputation. However, that's more than covered by everything else. Did I do anything else? Oh, oh my goodness. That is a heavy hit. That is a bit of a punch, isn't it? Oh my goodness. So minus 15 for that massive theft. We just couldn't get up there. It was right in the, right in the top corner. Uh, illegal parking minus three. Drug dealer timed out and the bomb alarm. We resolved for minus three. I would have thought the bomb alarm we should have possibly attended. We did attend because we resolved it. And we resolved the vandals as well. Minus seven. Okay, maybe I did them badly then. I thought I did okay with those, but clearly not. Okay, there we go. So that was that was my day in Miami. Now Crockett and Tubbs are injured. Crockett and Tubbs are injured. Look, so they're not in the thing anymore. They're in there being hurt, one assumes. Yes, yeah, so they need to recover. This team member is in recovery for another four days. What happened to them? How injured is he? He's health 65. Oh, my goodness. And he's for two days. Oh, wow. Okay, so Crockett and Tubbs took a bit of a kick in at some point. Got involved in a shootout or something. Okay, well, there we go. And that, I think, we're going to stop there. But I, I, I quite enjoyed that. That was very good fun. It was chaotic, anarchic, kind of mad fun. The, the first level was all right. It was fairly sedate. And then the Miami one, about from about halfway through, just got kind of all sorts of crazy. So, uh, yes, that, that was very good. I liked that. I liked that quite a lot, actually. And, yes, all these different bits and bobs that you can buy in the different vehicles and stuff. And I imagine as you go on, because now we've got 49 grand. So as you play it, you'll be able to buy better vehicles. So you'll be able to buy some, like, fancy pants police bikes for 20,000. In fact, yes, we could possibly, we could afford a police bike. Which would be quite cool. Sticks one on a police bike. That's kind of quick. 180. Nice police response thing. Obviously, it can't transport anyone anywhere. Or a <laughs> spot patrol car for 180 grand. Only in Miami. Uh, and yeah, you get all these. You get a rescue helicopter, 300 grand. A rescue vehicle, so a medical bike. 20 grand just to get someone on site quick, I suppose. Uh, yeah, little ladder trucks and things. I think some of these were added with the um, some of the DLCs. I think maybe these the ladder trucks possibly in the field hospitals and things but uh yeah that i enjoyed that that was very very good 911 operator so yeah, it's not in early access or anything it's been out for a little while it's got all the dlc with it and i thought it was worth looking at and you know what i'm very glad i played i'm very glad i played that was that was very enjoyable i may well come back to that at some point on my own and carry on this career mode however we are going to do another video of this and we are going to try the free play mode because that kicks into life the Every Life Matters DLC, which has got all sorts of other stuff in like National Guard. And I think it's more scenario based, I think. And yes, we shall change the map there to be somewhere uh, which is uh, not not Miami and not Hawaii either. So uh, yes, come back for that one. So if you have enjoyed this, which I hope you have because I enjoyed it and I hope that came across. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like and please do subscribe to keep Keep up to date with games like this and all the other stuff that we play in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Flying rhinos are not allowed. Pink hippos are fine, but no flying rhinos. Doing that for that length of time is making me feel very uncomfortable. You're like violating me with your weird zebra eyes. Get off. Mystic. Okay, this is just an acid trip. If we can crash into a rainbow, then something is fundamentally wrong with the world. Whoa, you cheating giraffe git.